us to, as a, an organization, I, I always say to everybody that, um, are we uh, recording there? All right. Uh, I always say that uh, our organization is one of the best in the world. And the reason is, is because we allow all uh, points of view, as long as they're scientific and they are serious. Um, you try to take any of the papers we have here today, or many, many of the things, and publish them anywhere else, it isn't going to happen. So uh, that's very important. And the other thing that's very important, and it's one of the great things, but it's also one of the sad things that, uh, especially Greg Volk and I, have done over the years as we started uh, recognizing people uh, who have done a lifetime of work that may not necessarily, sometimes they're more recognized and sometimes they aren't so recognized. And so we feel this obligation to uh, recognize uh, what we maybe in a small group of scientists in the world know about something revolutionary that other people may not know. Or like I said, it depends on the person. Some are more well known than others. A good example of a person we uh, gave an award to was uh, Halton Arp, and he was uh, in dire straits at the time. And we decided to literally uh, go to his house, represented with Peter Marquard. Uh, he's a philosopher from our group, and we presented him with the, our, our Lifetime Achievement Award. Uh, to recognize his work. Uh, he's a, obviously lots of you know the story of Halton Arp. But that's one of the great things. We've uh, started it, I think, in 2008. Uh, Dr. Ebony Spencer, Peter, Peter, oh my gosh, I think it is. If Greg was here, he'd tell me, uh, Peter, I don't remember his last name. Um, sorry, uh, <laughs> Greg. And uh, there was another person on the spanning uh, earth. And we have always uh, tried to represent humanity when we do this. And uh, we gave last night, you can go to the internet and see that uh, we did that live. Uh, Dr. Cynthia Whitney, who uh, is an amazing person, who's, does, she's the uh, editor of the Galilean Electrodynamics. Actually, she took that over from somebody in the early 1990s where people were criticizing relativity and didn't have a place, so she helped with that, and she's been doing that for many years. But she got a degree from MIT, a woman at that time, that was not, not easy, and she got it in physics, and she got it in relativity, and um, immediately went to a job, and you heard the story, and apply, was trying, she was all excited to apply relativity to the um, a gyroscope or a, this is one of those uh, uh, laser rings, I don't know, they're called the specific thing. But she was all ex excited to apply it and she applied it and she just laughed last night and said, it broke, she couldn't use it. And she realized she just did her PhD thes thesis on relativity and literally the first thing she was excited and it should apply to and it definitely does apply to it actually showed special relativity didn't work. And of course we know that as the Sanyak effect, and in fact our first award was named after Sanyak, and um, uh, that's one, one we gave for quite a while. And when we switched from the MPA to CMPS, we changed it to a Lifetime Achievement Award. But we gave that to her because <clears throat> she can't travel. Um, again, we have many people, Peter, I think Peter Beckman received it one year. Um, uh, in 2010, uh, when I think uh, you were there, I had mentioned uh, we actually were doing it by age because we had so many people <clears throat> we wanted to give this to before they pass on. And that year, the, we had a person who was 90, 92, and 93 who received the awards. You're not in your 90s, right? I hope so. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> But uh, you're a youngster in comparison. So the idea is to try to recognize these people that perhaps 100 years from now will be the names that we are all reading about, that we read about in history. So tonight we're gonna do that. I don't wanna make a big ceremony. Um, you know our, 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 our winner this year, that's why we're having this banquet and had him as the keynote speaker. Uh, I first heard of him because of uh, 
uh, Greg Volk <coughs> invited, <coughs> invited him in. And he says, you really got to hear about this. <coughs> Excuse me. You really have to hear about this guy and, and what he found. And of course, like most of us, when you see uh, his work, you're pretty much blown away. And uh, I just was really fascinated by it. I was really happy to have him uh, talk. And then I bought his book and read it. And uh, then it became part of my vocabulary uh, and examples. So when we are talking with people who uh, we want to talk about our critical thinking and what we do in this group, of course, he is one of the <coughs> pillars of, of uh, what it means to be a critical thinker and what we can do with it. <coughs> when I eat, that happens. Uh, but we also have a few other words tonight, too, I do, so don't go away. But uh, the first I would like to do is to... Um, uh, uh, okay, I'll just wait a little bit here. And uh, I will be presenting the, the main award tonight as soon as we get uh, ready here. So I've got some of the awards over here. Um, all right. I'll wait till Duncan's ready. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> no, I'm okay. It's clear. I got it. I got it. Not only water, easy water. No, I'm okay. I'm, I'm all right. I don't know if they have water. No, don't worry. Okay, but I'm okay. I clear my throat. <laughs> this happens all the time when I'm trying to make YouTube, so I learned never eat and then try to record your YouTube videos. Don't do it. That's right. Head, oh, thank you. Oh, no. Appropriately, a drop of water just fell on the award. <laughs> I don't know, is that symbolic? <clears throat> Thank you very much. Look at that, it's beating up. I, I have no idea why that may happen. Uh, I learned from you, Professor. So, Anyways, I'd like to invite you up here, Dr. Gerald Pollack. And uh, I'm going to read the award. <clears throat> And like I said, appropriately, I don't even want to check that. Look at that. There's drops of water on that. And that was thank, that was part of the thank you, Duncan, for that uh, added uh, thing there that was very appropriate. This is, uh, it says here on the plaque, uh, the John Chappelle Natural Philosophy Society bestows upon Dr. Gerald Pollack its highest honor of Lifetime Achievement Award for your con uh, contributions in the area of chemistry, biology, and physics especially discovery of the fourth state of water and its importance to physical and biological processes and to the well-being of the health of humans. And also to your work in the area of scientific activism, awarded on this day, June 27, 2019. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. And this, I do really mean this, and this is from the bottom of my heart and from Greg Volk and all of us, this is truly our way, uh, this is not our society doing this, this is really, um, I say this is for all scientists on the, around the world, because it's the people who are the pioneers who may not be recognized with those Nobel Prizes that we know in the future will know. So we feel an obligation on our group to do this, on not on only uh, on the behalf of our group, but of all scientists and critical thinkers around the world. So congratulations. Oh, thank you so much. This is, um, this is really uh, meaningful, tremendously meaningful uh, to me. But I have only one, one question. It says, Lifetime Achievement Award. Does that mean there's no achievement left after this year? <laughs> <laughs> or no lifetime left, or what? <laughs> no, it means you've, you've earned a uh, award for the work that you've been in over a long period of okay, time. Okay, thank you very much. I thought there's no life left. <laughs> <laughs> so, thank you. Thank you all. I, I really appreciate this. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. A round of applause, please. Um, also, something that I'm starting this year, and uh, it wasn't easy because, uh, like the Lifetime Achievement Award, um, a lot of times we have so many people to recognize. But one of the things I think we didn't, we haven't done, and I should do, is to recognize some of our members um, because uh, this organization wouldn't be running without our members and the work of our members. 
So when, I, when I, I'm starting with the director, it is uh, to recognize some of our members. It's uh, an appreciation award. It's to thank people for certain things, their work, um, their longevity in the group, uh, their leadership in the group. So uh, if you don't get one this year and you keep coming, don't worry, it may happen. So I know it doesn't matter who gets it, it's always going to be not me. I know that's, uh, but uh, I figure this is a very important thing to do in an organization like this because obviously it's not just me. I can't lead nobody, um, and our director can't either. So uh, we've come up with some uh, awards here, and uh, I'm going to give them out. And I've got three. Uh, we, three seems to be a good number. Um, and uh, I'm going to give these out one at a time here. Um, <clears throat> uh, this first award, these are uh, Science Achievement Awards um, I'm, we uh, put together. Uh, and, uh, oh, by the way, I think the date today is the 28th, isn't it? Yes. Okay. Oh, boy. The 27th. Okay. We will, no one will know. It'll be just our secret. I think the reason is is because I made yours with Cynthia, and I knew it was the day before. But that's okay. Franklin has had the last two, um, at least the two, last two covers of the proceedings as Frank Line, right? Frank Line, Frank Hugh. And, and of course, with, with modern editing, you just copy and paste, right? So you just proliferate those errors. <laughs> yeah, you gotta, it's got to update that picture. But anyway. <laughs> Anyways, um, I, I chose three people this year, each with a specific thing at least I could talk about. And um, uh, pretty much uh, it's, uh, I'm not sure, but I think uh, these two awards are, uh, no, I guess I did, okay. Uh, I think they're, I did rate something different. I don't know if it was copied or not, so I do so much here. Okay, yeah, so they are individualized in this, but, um, uh, this person uh, has not been here that long, but is probably one of the most prolific persons we have in our group. And I thought it was very appropriate because I look at uh, certainly what the group looks forward to. Some, some people in the group, they uh, do look forward to certain people of the group giving their presentations. And this person is really uh, no different, uh, but uh, I thought it was uh, very notable and outstanding in the group. So. Uh, I won't say the name, but it says the John Chappelle Natural Philosophy Society bestows upon this person the highest member honor of Science Achievement Award for your prolific and high regarded work during the last few years as a scientist and contributor to the advancement of physics and cosmology and to the Chappelle Natural Philosophy Society and its annual proceedings and conferences. And this proudly goes to Dr. Raymond H. Gallucci. Yay, a round of applause. I was looking in the database, and you know, you, in the database you see the number of of, of, of uh, uh, papers, and I looked at it. How many is in, in there? Uh, I've written thirty-seven, but I have them. What year did you start? Two thousand thirteen. Folks, <laughs> that's a lot of papers, and not only that, uh, he does an incredible service, and that is whether you like it or not. He may come after you and write about your theory and give invaluable, don't you think, uh, Duncan? I, I may not ask Duncan this year because he uh, got that one paper about his gravity, but it certainly is a person I always look forward to uh, having at the conference, and uh, your analysis and what you do is just absolutely tremendous. So, uh, do you have any, any words to say? I'll have to write a poem. <laughs> oh, that's right. He is the one who writes our poems. They are really great. Uh, I'll, we pro publish them, but no words then. You're going to write a poem for this? I'll have to write a poem. <laughs> All right. Well, let's have a round of applause for our first one. Thank you. Sit down. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We'll take pictures later. That's right. Because our photographer, who's pretty good, is also doing the video. So. Okay. Um, I got another one here. Um, this is a, another Science Achievement Award, a little different. Um, you know, this person's been doing papers, I think, since 2007. So it's been a little over 10 years. And because of you know ups and downs in this organization, you know, uh, and people leaving for different re reasons other than their philosophies, 
Um, uh, I thought this was, this was also appropriate. I think a person who's really admired in the group uh, actually had to gain a nickname this year. But um, this is the John Chappelle Natural Philosophy Society who bestows upon this person the highest member uh, honor of Science Achievement Award for your prolific and highly regarded work during the, the decade as a scientist and contributor to the advancement of physics and cosmology to the Chappelle Natural Philosophy Society and its annual proceedings. And this goes to Robert D. Hilster. And they, of course now, I'm sorry, this goes to dad. And it's, uh, that's not fair, folks. You steal, stole my dad. Now people are calling you dad. At least it's not grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> But anyways, um, I mean this story, you probably heard these stories, but I was so fearful because I really needed my father, as a father, to help me in a film where my mentor and my, the person who got me into this sort of, in some way, abandoned me. And it was very hard. It was very hard. And I asked my dad, hey dad, another project like when I did when I was a kid, science project with him. Could you, what do you want to do this time? Hey, a, an experiment to try to show gravity as a particle. That was a bit, that was a much bigger advance than making a pipe organ out of a vacuum cleaner. So he took it on and um, actually started doing work. And I saw this guy come up with an equation for gravity, which summing all the little uh, points that a, that gravity would be caused by by the little little uh, uh, particles hitting. He actually summed them all up, and he said, "I need a." a was it the first that you needed, the program that I got for you? Yeah, because the spreadsheet wasn't doing it. Yeah, so he was adding up all the little forces around the body, and uh, it had to go to 150 significant digits, and it had to do it fast. So I got a package from one of the, because uh, I'm a mathematician, we got one of the package that ran just as fast with almost an infinite amount, and he, and he says, well, I only needed 250 points. <laughs> decimal places to know. And he was doing calculations that ran days and days and days. And when he was done, he uh, matched his curve, the Newton's curve for gravity, and they matched pretty closely. And he says, I'm done. I'm done with the film. I'm done with all of this. And this was 2007. And I was totally devastated because I wasn't done with the film. And I go, oh. And then I take him to the conference, and uh, my dad says, well, um, I'm going to read be uh, uh, presenting, and he gets up there and presents in front of the lion's den. These are the NPA people for around 15 years. My dad hadn't been there. And he basically stood up there, and the one guy told the story to a few people here already, that uh, the guy gets up and says, Mr. DeHilster, there's a problem here, here, and here. I think these are very grave problems. And I'm thinking to myself, I'm filming behind my camera for a documentary that came out many years later, and I'm just as a, I'm trying to film it like a director and a cinematographer, and I'm looking at my dad, and I'm thinking, what did I get my dad into? I, I really regretted it. And then so my dad opened his mouth and gave this engineering answer, and he says, you think that's bad? Let me tell you what's really wrong with what I'm doing. And he went on and listed all three, and I knew he was safe, and from then on, he gained more and more reputation. He started the Gravity Group. He was a person that could take something very complicated and bring it down to a very simple problem. And he started really gaining respect. And, and in 2015, he, in my opinion, gave one of the best uh, solutions I've seen for the wave particle duality, and then that spawned our, our model. But um, it's really been great because I have not only a, a colleague to work with, but he's my father. And so when we have our mini conference every day, except when my wife gets in the way and, doesn't, and separates us. So when we have a party, everyone's talking about everything and we're in the corner talking about physics. But I honestly, honestly respect my father uh, for the work he's done and the scientist he is. I've learned a lot about it. And um, he's been in this, uh, if you look around, he's been here uh, quite a number of years already. And for a guy who starts a YouTube channel at the age of 80, that's pretty darn amazing. So congratulations. You are my dad too. Okay. There you go. Would you want to say a few words? Yeah, sure. Oh, oh. <laughs> well, he doesn't write poems, okay? So you owe us a poem. Well, you know, there's 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 a time 
when you're raising your family, when you're, you're really finally happy that he, he's finally left and he, he's out, he's not asking you for more projects anymore. The uh, time-lapse photography, the, uh, the one-octave pipe organ, whatever it was, he was always asking for help. Bad news? No. I don't know if it's bad news or good news. He's still asking for help. <laughs> But I enjoy doing it with him and, 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 and respond uh, to his requests many, many times as any father would. So I respect him for his work and I'm uh, and, uh, and proud of him just as, as much as I'm proud of the award. Wow, all right. Well, thank you so much. For that. I know I'm going to be in trouble like crazy. Dave gave his father award on the first time. <laughs> no, I, again, I, I, I uh, had some consultation. Okay, this last one is a little different because um, it's what I call leadership award. And um, it's something, especially when you run an organization, a lot of times people are doing things and they don't understand what that position means or how hard it is. And I thought this was uh, very well received, uh, very well deserved. Um, I know I had been in this position for a while. I know it is not easy. And um, I think it's uh, very well worth it to give uh, to this person. So this one is the John Tapel Natural Philosophy Society. Shows its, uh, uh, shows its grateful thanks to this person for his leadership um, achievement award for your leadership role in the organizing and conducting and moderating of the weekly worldwide video <laughs> conference known as the Saturday morning uh, uh, science chats for the natural, uh, the, the Chappelle Natural Philosophy Society. And I know you don't know who this is, but this goes to Franklin Hugh. Come on up, Franklin. Uh, <laughs> You know, Franklin gets a lot of heat. It's not easy. Um, I know because of the time and the, the number of people that are involved, we have a lot of members, but very few that help. And it's better, in my opinion, to have a science chat, whether we have an, even a topic or not. And if we have a speaker or not, I know I have not been able to give more time to it. And I, I am dedicating this next year to putting more time and lining up people for you, and uh, uh, it's not easy getting on there and taking all these cantankerous people who then get at each other's throats, so much so that we did come up with a set of rules because it got to be not so easy. We actually took one person who, uh, from the YouTube that came onto our group, and we, as a directorate, banned that person because they could not cooperate and, and argue in the right way. They could only name call. And yes, we've had people, and uh, he, uh, Franklin has had to kick people from the discussion. But um, I have listened to all those cases, and he was absolutely uh, warranted. We had the rules. But it's not easy. You have to do it every week. He, yes, there were some weeks he couldn't do it. I know what that is like. You've got to be there every time. And uh, it's very important. Uh, it's going on. In fact, my dad made a suggestion of us being able to even present and put them in the proceedings to make that so those people who can't come here could actually present in a very good way. We have the recording of that and actually become part of the proceedings. I think it's a really way. It's, you know, still paying the proceeding pages and all that. But I think uh, it's, not, it's an unsung hero award and it's greatly appreciated. Everybody blames you for it. It's like, I, I, you know, that's the way software is. If you get software, it's all your fault. It doesn't matter if the internet's down, they unplug their computer, they blame you for it. So he gets all the blame, but in this case, he gets all the accolades for doing that. So uh, congratulations again. Thank you. Well, now I just expect you guys to all show up to my uh, Saturday. Saturday to 7 a.m. or uh, 9, 9, 9 a.m. Eastern, right? So, oh, 10 a.m. Oh, yeah. 10 a.m. Yeah, 10 a.m. Yeah, See, I can't even get my own. We're having it place. tomorrow, but we're sort of having it live, right? Yeah, tomorrow I invited all of my normal science chat people to come to the CNPS uh, conference. So, just, you know, right, right. two hours later than normal. But, Hopefully, so hopefully we get a big jump in our participation tomorrow, right? Right, right. But uh, yeah, thank you for, for doing that, and uh, 
Yeah, I, I, I just felt that uh, I just didn't have enough opportunities to talk about science, so that's why we keep on doing it. Uh, and it, people are always amazed that uh, I tell them about this thing, and you guys talk for two hours? For, for two hours? On, on physics? <laughs> yeah, and somehow we always manage to do that. Yeah. And even run out of time, it seems. Yeah, absolutely. All right, but uh, yeah, thanks. Congratulations. Congratulations. Tomorrow, um, in that vein, uh, that's why I hate to put his talks tomorrow, because uh, tomorrow we're going to have two speakers. Uh, uh, one is uh, Roger Anderton. He's from the sort of the older school of the MPA and relativity. Um, he was a big proponent uh, of my film when it came out over in England. And uh, also he, uh, we have James, James Marison, 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 which is uh, interesting. He's proposing a, a, the, uh, a Michelson Morley type of experiment that we would hope perhaps would uh, settle things once and for all. And both of those people will be presenting over our FUSE video conference. We'll have that. Uh, 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 Franklin, who will be up here, uh, people will not be coming to Facebook to watch, but will go to FUSE. FUSE is an online. Uh, we pay for that as a service. We pay, I don't know, $600 a year, but it allows us to have many people and many feeds, and it's very solid, and it allows us to have these video conferences. So. Uh, he will, uh, Frank will be presenting his papers uh, that will be over Facebook Live, and then we'll be doing those two presentations via Fuse. We'll be we'll be actually doing those Facebook Live as well and recording those for YouTube. So uh, that's what we have in plan for tomorrow. So if you're there, and if you're not, you can follow us as online. But again, I want to thank everybody who comes, uh, especially long way like Musa, you coming er uh, every year. Uh, for the last uh, number of years, the contributions you make, the new people like Toshi. Uh, we have uh, Bill Beatty, who's uh, in this area, who uh, uh, gave up his celebrity for the truth and science when uh, I met him in 2010. And of course, we have Duncan Shaw, who's now being cited by people and uh, is generating great jealousy amongst us. Uh, but uh, his work is amazing. I think. The, the, your your evolution in such a short amount of time is fantastic, and the attitude is just really great. And we thank you for coming as well, everybody in Hans who doesn't have his own theory, but everybody who supports this. Again, uh, from my standpoint, we're doing very well. Uh, the the like I said, I will repeat: our payment, our membership payments are at an all-time high. Uh, we, we are able to pay for what we need to do, our websites and everything. Uh, one of the great burdens we had was we I paying a company to make us so we will not be hacked. I'm not kidding, we were attacked for the, for the last three weeks. Uh, I have the security company and I watched them try to get into our server. There are people out there, I, some of them I know are from Brazil. Uh, I also have a Brazilian uh, thing I do and uh, these people, and uh, people from another country, I'm not gonna name countries, uh, have been trying to attack us. I've had them literally one year bring down our website before our conference started. I'm not into the conspiracy theory, but it does happen, it's there. Good news is that we pay a company $300 a year to now keep that from happening. Uh, maybe the company's doing that and they're making money out of keeping it. <laughs> Believe me, that's happened. That's what happened to uh, the Democratic Party here. The company that was who was accusing about ro uh, Russian robots, they, they, they were found out to be cre cre creating Russian trolls and robots to then get the money to pull it off of your own uh, server. But those are good things and they are great advances. So uh, we are steady with that. We have um, our video conferencing. We have our book. Uh, we're gonna be working with Toshi. Um, he has his book, but um, we're going to get it into the latex system. Uh, I'm working with George Coyne on his book. Anybody here who's writing a book, we have the system to do that for you and work with you. It's all super, it's in the language of book publishing, and it's online. It's called Overleaf now. It's called Share Latex. The same thing we do are, uh, as proceedings are, that's available. Your membership payments pay for that. So you have that available. Anybody who wants to write a book, my dad and I's book is on there. Uh, he, my dad has his first book. We are writing our second, which we have. My dad's book's coming out in a month, so 
got to get it. And if you want to, that will allow you to put it on Amazon for $100. We don't pay that, but if you want your book on Amazon, that's all it will cost. And then it gets printed on demand. So um, that's uh, something we provide. And of course, the video uh, service is available to anybody. If you want to use it to get a small gathering in, in uh, my father was doing the Gravity Group. There was a, what other groups were there? Well, there was the uh, Relativity Group, uh, you know, Harry Ricker. Right, and Harry Ricker, right. Uh, and there was supposed to be a, a structure. For yeah, I don't think that happened, yeah. but They met, but not too often. Not too often, yeah. But the idea is anybody here can meet and use that system. Uh, even if it's just for, you know, Musa has people that are not in his town and they want to do some of it, he can use that. Any of the members can use that service. Uh, I know how to use it. You can contact Franklin. It's used, you can use it anytime. So that's available. And, and uh, the other thing is too, well, we are gonna line up talks. So if you wanna talk, it, it, it's a really good one, is if you are in the middle of an idea and you wanna float that in the, in the group, uh, sign up for the Saturday morning. You have usually what is it, an hour that you get to talk and then an hour of discussion. Is that normally what you do? So you get a whole hour, and then after that, you get a whole hour of people talking, and you can have videos there. It's really a really great system. You can share your screen, you can do everything. It's a very professional system. So we have that as well. And of course, um, the, my question I get is when we are, where are we going to be next? It's going to be on the East Coast. I don't know where. But normally what I try to do is get areas where I know there are, uh, or our members are close. Just like tonight, we have people who are close. This was not an accident, especially with uh, 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 Joe, uh, Dr. Pollock here. And Cynthia Whitney, who moved like 20 minutes from here. So um, uh, if you have any comments or you want to help or any ideas, I want to welcome uh, also Sandro. I really uh, think uh, uh, we see younger minds that are just really, uh, you know, come up with really amazing uh, uh, critical thinking on things that you just may would never ever think of. Uh, I was telling him he should stick in the group. He should try to get more people because, you know, what he even his biology it involves physics. Here's a guy right there who knows that. And you're not going to get a whole lot of cooperation on necessarily. But if you do, more power to you. Uh, that's great, too. So uh, if you have anything uh, you want to talk to me about, any concerns, anything you don't like what we're doing, you know, just let me know. Um, I'm totally open because, uh, you know, I, I best ideas are stolen ideas and just modify them a little and you use them as your own. So I want to thank everybody who comes to these. It's really important. Um, I see us growing, and I don't see longer than five years we're going to have a lot more people at these conferences. It just takes time. It's a different world now. It's not the same. The MPA where we had 150 people, it's just not the same. And the generations are changing the way things go and travel and the expenses and all that. But uh, I greatly appreciate it. And, uh, it's, in uh, my opinion, this is very important because people see it. I can see the clamoring going around these uh, conferences. I now see people saying, it's not this year, it's next year, and we keep gathering every conference, we get new people. Those people add up and stay around, and those people will continue to write papers and the whole thing will come up. Uh, this is the same thing that John Chappelle went through. We, we, I know that, I, I, I watched the same thing. It goes like this. So. Anyways, thank you so much. It's 8.30, it's time to go, and um, we'll be back here, what does it say for tomorrow? Nine o'clock? Okay, and we only go to five o'clock, and then after that, um, we may even uh, break up after that. My dad and I are gonna go to the airport and sleep overnight there to get our six o'clock plane on uh, that, but I appreciate it very much. Okay, and let's give ourselves a round of applause, and congratulations to all the winners, Dr. Pollock. Uh, Ray Gallucci. Um, what did you? Did the winners all know and sit together like that? What the heck? I mean, in order. All right. Who opened the box and looked at the names? I want. Yeah, I figured it was my dad. Okay. Thank you and all. Good night. Good night.